Does anybody's dog burp a lot? Roxy's nine pounds, and I don't think I've ever heard a dog burp as much as she does. Huh. You burp a lot. Welcome to episode number two of my wedding series. I'm sorry if anyone is paying close attention that I didn't upload anything yesterday. I was really busy yesterday because my wedding dress came in. Yay! I wasn't supposed to get here till March, but it got here super fast, so I'm I'm not mad. I'm happy about it. I went and did a gown viewing yesterday, um, made sure it fit and whatnot. Did fit for the most part. Obviously, my chest part did not fit that well, but that is because I'm built like a 12-year-old boy up here. Yesterday, doing all that, it kind of inspired me to do just some tips if you are doing any wedding dress shopping. This is, these are just some tips from me to you on how to find that perfect dress. So before I go into any tips, if you are in the Denver area, I highly, highly, highly recommend that you go to the Bridal Collection. Their customer service is excellent. I mean, they're always friendly when you walk in the door. They're patient, because I know when I brought my whole group to go wedding dress shopping, I mean, the lady that I had was wonderful. And then the lady that I had um, for my gown viewing, she was just as wonderful. So tip number one when you are going and looking for a wedding dress is have an open mind. I mean, you're gonna go in and I'm sure that everybody goes in and they're like, I want a ball gown, I want an A-line, I want a mermaid, and it's like, try to have a little bit of an open mind. Try on other dresses, so don't just stick with that one because even though you may want a mermaid, you may end up loving a ball gown style. So just try to have an open mind when you go in there. Tip number two, is have a Pinterest board ready or have some pictures just so you can kind of give your consultant an idea of what you want or don't want. One less thing you need to worry about while you're there. Tip number three is make sure that you're comfortable in it. Make sure that you're able to move around in it, that you feel pretty in it. I know that when I put my wedding dress on, I knew it was the one because I could walk around in it. I was able to sit down in it. I was comfortable in it. It felt natural. It didn't feel like I shouldn't be wearing it. That's my biggest thing it, to you, is just make sure you're comfortable in it, make sure you feel natural in it. If you feel good, you'll look good. Tip number four, make sure that you love it. It's going to be a little overwhelming because you're gonna have your mom and your mother-in-law and your friends or bridesmaids or whatever, and they're all gonna wanna see you in something different, which is totally fine, that's why they're there and they love you and they just wanna see they just want to see you in everything and it's really fun for them as well, but at the end of the day, just make sure that you are comfortable in it, that you love it. Their opinion means a lot, but yours means the most. You are the one that's going to be wearing the dress, not your mom, not your bridesmaids, you. And for my final tip, kind of zhuzh up the dress a little bit. If you're a little bit hesitant about whether you're, gonna, you're kind of like on the fence, like I like it, but I don't like it. Try on some accessories if you can. Try on like a jewel, a jeweled belt or veils or whatever it may be. Just try to zhuzh it up just a little bit. Maybe that might change your mind. You know, you're not just going to be wearing the dress on your day. You're going to have the jewelry, the veil or whatever you're going to be wearing. You're going to have all that stuff on. But I highly recommend just kind of, you know, putting on those things and then you can get a clearer idea of what your wedding dress is going to look like. I know that there are tons of videos out on the internet about weddings, wedding dresses, bridesmaids and whatnot. So I hope that if you did stumble across mine, I hope it I hope that it helped you somehow. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any feedback or just want to leave some comments, go ahead and leave a comment down in the description. If you have any comments, go ahead and leave any of your feedback or whatnot in the comment section down below. And please subscribe to my channel, help my little channel grow, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!